All right. I uh, gotta love Macy. It's so creative. She thinks my tractor is sexy. Well, guess what? There's a lot of sexiness happening out here today. More than 200 uh, farm vehicles, including tractors of all size. Adam from the Historical Society, this is the over for, for over 50 years you guys have been doing this show, right? Absolutely. We're in our 52nd year. Okay, that is awesome. And the second year here at the uh, Lake Metro Park Farm Park. That's now, what great. do we have coming down here? What we got here is a 1933 American LaFrance fire engine. Uh, it's owned by Lakeside Sand and Gravel. It belonged to the city of Kent in Portage County. Okay. And where do you find an old truck like this at? Well, when it you went don't out use of service, cities. there was a sale. Really? You're so, kidding. Uh, yes, Lakeside Sand and Gravel purchased it. It was uh, their number two fire engine at their west side fire station. Okay. These guys down here are going to get it hooked up to the pond and get a little water flowing. To show how it worked back in the yep. day. Now, Which is what they would do. We have a water source. They're going to draft the water out, and it would have supplied a fire hose. Crazy question. I mean, when you guys get these things, they're going to be in all different types of shape. You can't go to AutoZone and get parts. How do you guys figure out, okay, let's let's try to make this thing work? How does that, what's that whole process like? You make those parts. You really fabricate most, it yourself. Most of the things for something that age and that unique are custom made. So there's a machine shop and a fabrication shop obviously supporting it. Yeah. The guy down there running the truck is one of those guys. Okay. Uh, he works for Lakeside and he's one of the people doing the handwork to get it going again. We oh, worked amazing. on it as a club and got it out here. It took us two years to get it going. Uh, look, all right, we got water flowing. So yeah, it works so literally, you guys have to research and research and research. We're not even talking about the specs and the fabrication. Just the research alone for each and every part has to just be time consuming, or is it? No, it's very time consuming. Uh, everything on that truck was pretty well handmade even back then. Okay. So there's a lot of custom fitment and a lot of research to see how to make what you're going to, uh, to need for that. You but when it's done, it pays off. It has a, a good patina on it and it works pretty well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You wanted to give a shout out to the fire department? Absolutely. Saturday, uh, barring any emergencies, Kirkland right. Fire Department's going to be on site from uh, 11 to noon with a modern American LaFrance fire engine. It's about 80 years younger than that one. Okay. So we're going to hopefully see them both here together. Wow, that's pretty cool to see how far the technology has come. Yeah. Uh, easy question, but difficult question. Why do you like this so much? So my family's actually been in the fire service for almost 100 years. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm a volunteer firefighter, yeah. and a lot of these guys here with the tractors are career firefighters at different cities in Northeast Ohio. Okay. It connects good to our group. We're historical engine. It's a different kind of engine. That is a congratulations on your family oh. lineage. That is very, very cool. Very awesome. So um, a lot of stuff coming in, but the show starts tomorrow for everybody to come out. That's right. Uh, families are encouraged, right, Adam? Yes. Bring the family out. It's so cool. We have so, and it's functional. We have so much more to show you guys. This is awesome. The biggest um, historical tractor show in Northeast Ohio happening this weekend at Lake Metro Park Farm Park. Wow. Thank you so much, Adam. That's awesome. pretty cool, man. All right, back Thanks. to you guys. That's wild. Yeah, Kitty's having a good yes, time out there. Yes, he is, right?